I'm the Taj, running to her Jane, Katara to my avatar. She still call me Aang first. Kids, marriage, I could go down the list, but nothing quite like that bliss from your first S. Welcome back to the Treehouse Show. I'm your host, Gartasia. We have a very special guest. We got Savy in this mug. How you feeling today, man? I'm chilling. I'm really just living life, doing music, doing as most as I can while I'm young. So. Absolutely. First of all, I'm messing with the drip. Appreciate it. Okay, yeah. but you this got like the thick skin. This type. is what I wore in the album cover, and then I okay. drew. I drew the album cover on uh, Adobe. Photoshop. Facts, facts. So you, then, you be the one like you know making degrees and shit, fake de degrees and certificates <laughs> on Adobe. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. Messing with y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I just really just started my own creations with like heartbreak and you know dealing with love issues absolutely so honestly bro i feel like the two things that'll make you like successful in this world or push you to like become a, a better person mm -hmm. is like heartbreak and like poverty yeah for real i'm not gonna lie those two things bro will make you a beast yeah because like, like, you don't have you have to level up type mm -hmm. shit because like with love it's just like you when you feel something and you're going through it it's just okay you got to figure out new ways to you know and this is my way of music. Exactly. So, this is how I express my emotions and, you know, get it, get whatever I need out. So Big facts. Bro, that's a, that's a good point you mentioned, right? Yeah. Like, um, so, like, I'm an artist, too. Mm -hmm. Gartasia, you know the vibes. Yeah. Um, listen artist to First game. first Kiss. You feel when we dropped that? I actually that, did click on that. That street interview. We was tube, outside, yeah. you know what I'm saying, terrorizing downtown. You already know how we come in Village Life. <laughs> they not ready for the wave, but nah. the wave gonna come. Yeah, The, the sure, wave coming sure. regardless. Um, but now, nah, like, definitely, like, it's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of rappers, I was watching this interview of Raw Wave. Yeah. Did was, you peep that shit too? Yeah. I love that interview because like he was talking about how like he don't like to talk to like therapists and shrinks and shit mm -hmm. like that. Like people don't understand like for some people that makes it even more like uncomfortable sometimes yeah. like talking to other people. But like his way of expressing himself was through his tracks. And like one point he made right was how like he only has like one engineer. He don't feel comfortable around like these other engineers he only feels comfortable around one engineer he brings them everywhere because that's the one guy he feel like because kind of like your music technically your engineer is your therapist low key basically because yeah. like he's the only one who hears what i hear he's saying like me and lawan we just got the perfect ear for like beats and everything exactly so i feel like that's therapy you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i feel like if more people like you know props for artists for tapping into what you know what's therapy for them i feel like that's one form of therapy yeah i feel like we should do more effort as a society to try to find other forms of therapy. Mm -hmm. I know like art is therapy yeah. and stuff like that, but like, I, I like that. I like that avenue. But um, but yeah, before we kind of go into a tangent, let's let's talk more about you. So where are you from? I'm from Zion, and then I originally moved to Gray's Lake, and then okay. I stayed there for like nine years. For sure, so for that's sure. that's basically my hometown. You know? So for people who don't know, where's that like in relative to Chicago? That's Zion. like suburbs, an hour away from here. Okay, like north? Mm-hmm. Okay, facts, facts. Okay, yeah. I heard of um, I heard of Zion. I, I used I went to um, like a rave, Spring Awakening. Mm -hmm. Is it is that near uh something That's in the Milwaukee. States? Milwaukee. Uh, wait. <sighs> you talking about the rave? Yeah, the Spring Awakening was in like something in the states. Uh, it was like near Hoffman, O'Hare. Uh, I don't know. Okay, facts. I don't facts. really know my way around. I, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> I'm a hard person. Yeah, this this interview is like kind of random because yeah. he just happened to be in town today. So uh, we just kicking it type shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So like what made you, you know what I'm saying, like kind of get into music? You know what I'm saying? Because like yeah. obviously okay. you have a diverse background. So Yeah. So like when I was younger, I used to hang around my dad a lot. And okay. He used to blast Wayne, Birdman, <laughs> all the young young money guys. So he was a cool cat. Yeah. <laughs> and then my mom, she had more of a soul to herself. So Fact. she had TLC and groups like that. True, true. And then, Spice Girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Destiny Child. Yeah. Head ass. And then I met Young Thug when I was 18. For real? That, that was that was like my biggest inspiration. Wow. Up. So what I was really that just, like? It was like cool. Like he was like, oh, uh, because I had on the, like the Slime Season album shirt. Fact. And he was like, oh, that's a nice shirt. And then I was like, appreciate it. I, <laughs> I was yeah, nervous as hell. I was nervous as hell, but. Yeah, it was Facts. Like, Did y'all like chop it up or? No, nah, not really. We just took a picture. He, he told me a few things, but bro, that's a lot though yeah. to be noticed by like was he, was he like one of your idols? Yeah, for real, like Thugger Jackson. That, that's the man. That's why. Wait, what? What was that at? Was that like at a rave? Or yeah, a that was at the rave. Was it a summer smash? 
Mm-mm. It was it was a birthday thing my mom put together for me. So. Oh, he came. <laughs> No, 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 no. He was at the rave, but like oh, my mom got that for me. Oh, oh, know? she planned it. Yeah. That's the and what? she got me. Yeah, she got me backstage with him too. That she was, planned that shit. I thought that was random. Nah, bro, your mom is a real OG. Yeah. That's like, bro. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you a kid, like if it's your birthday or some shit, like you get that one present that like that stays with you or something, yeah. like, or that one thing happened to you, like you never forget that's that memory. My mom, yeah. You feel me? But like, yeah, but like that's like. Like at eighteen, yeah. usually that don't usually happen that much. Like after like you turn like twelve, like you kind of don't get those big surprises anymore. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like for at eighteen, for an eighteen year old, that's like a still kind of childhood yeah. dream. It, it was, it was like that's I couldn't crazy. even believe I was next to him. Like that is crazy. Yeah. All right, so like when did you start taking it serious though? Like writing uh, lyrics, you know, getting into the studio. Well, I actually, when I was younger, okay, I went to um, it was like a summer camp. And then I did like a stage performance. Okay. It goes like, uh, say some, listen to my rap. Mm. So when I'm when I'm down, you better clap. Fact. I made up something like that when I was younger, and then lyrics just progressed through high school. So okay. I just picked up on my heartbreak inspirations in high school. Facts, and facts. Just put them all in the music. Man, so you you had a lot of heartbreaks. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot yeah. of BS in high school. Yeah. I can but hear it. We in all your get music. through. We all get through it. So, this is my way of getting through it. Exactly. You feel me? Like, don't don't worry. Five, ten years from now, <laughs> all them heartbreaks, they gonna be like, oh man, I should I should have messed with you. <laughs> you feel me? They, they listen to you. They bump your shit now. Cause like your haters or people who don't mess with you, they be your biggest like fans. That's what I'm saying. When, the yeah. moment you drop something, they be the first people to. You ever like post something? They be like ten views, but no likes. Yeah. Those are the haters. I don't they, really care about the views, but like, yeah, I see it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, who's watching it and like not liking it, especially mm-hmm. like on Instagram or something like that. It's yeah. like, so you literally just spend time watching it. Cause I hear you have to like look at a video for like more than three seconds for it to count as a view. Mm-hmm. So they, they spend, they're not just scrolling. They're they, spending more than three <laughs> seconds on your video and not liking the shit. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I love that energy. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I even dropped a song called Biters and that's what it's all about. It's all about how like, man, you, you'll drive yourself crazy worrying about what so-and-so think about mm-hmm. you, worrying about how you look, you know yeah. what I'm saying, worrying about your image, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Bro, I feel like now more than ever before, like, we, like social media, like, I'm, I know I'm sounding like a hypocrite, because obviously I'm on social media, and, like, <laughs> I feed off that platform, you know, as an artist, mm-hmm. you know, as a um, someone who's trying to establish their brand, you have to use it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you have to know what it does to you, mm-hmm. and you have to be able to, like, detach, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you get too into that, it, it's so easy because like back in the day people could just like you know what i'm saying drop an album or something like that like Jimi hendrix mm-hmm. or like you know what i'm saying like soul train or like temptations they could just drop a record you know in the big stereo things yeah the little re- record things mm-hmm. and then just chill i mean there was like radio and stuff <laughs> like that but like like radio was like you could turn it off you know what yeah. i'm saying like and the radio too depressed paparazzi weren't so lit where they knew every facet of your life now man we got social media we got flip phones everything yeah uh What's her name? That porn star got called lacking. What Ooh. was her name? Mia Khalifa. Oh, yeah, you know okay. That's yeah, just yeah, a, yeah. a pure example of, like, you just get called lacking. Like, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Don't ask how I know about that, though. Don't ask how I know about that. <laughs> Don't ask how I, I know like, about as that. As a child of God. Yeah. And this is also, um, this is a family podcast. Okay, yeah. Remember, okay. this is a family right, podcast. Right. I just want to make that clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But she was lacking. So this just shows how, like, you just gotta detach. And you really have to just... You know what I'm saying? Have a defined passion and have like defined goals of what you want to do with your life. Mm-hmm. Cause like, bro, you be all over the place. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of where I am now. Like, I still haven't really found my craft and niche, but I know I'm going far with music. But I can mm-hmm. like be in anything else. Big in, facts. A few Just to like, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of getting into like astrology and stuff. What's your sign? Uh, I'm a Scorpio. Oh, you're a Scorpio. I knew it was. It was either Scorpio <laughs> or Aries. What what told you that? Because I have squirt I my moon is Scorpio. Oh yeah. Okay. That Scorpio is kinda like we be passionate about shit. Yeah, exactly. That's like, that's exactly we it lock right. in. Like we, we can't just like kinda do it. Mm-hmm. If we do something, we gonna put hours into that. That's like, that's gonna, what I'm yeah. You feel exactly. me? And we picky. Like we we won't get into anything. Like, like our friends would be like advertising, oh, this is cool, oh, sure, have fun. But like when we do get locked into something, we go ham. Like, exactly. We got to study that. We watch the tutorials. We like, That's I what I do. I, I just get deeper and deeper in this shit, yeah. Big facts. So like tell us more about, um, so you're in college now, right? Mm-hmm. So like how, how is that 
career or how's that atmosphere of like being a student and pursuing music? It's kind of like, uh, it's a lot of work, obviously, Facts. but like once you get to it, it's just like, it's your craft, so you're going to stick to it regardless. So. For sure, for sure. And what's like your major? I'm a film major, but you know, music is going, so it could switch, but... For I sure. really like film, so, so okay. I'm not knocking film at all. Big facts, big facts. I'm like a, a film connoisseur, or like a rookie, so I, I know just a little bit about it, Like especially like certain directors like Peter Jackson, and mm -hmm. I really study kind of like a little bit of Christopher Nolan and stuff. Like, Who's your biggest film inspiration, I guess, or director? Uh, I kind of just watch anybody. I'm, I'm more into the actors, but mm. you're right. I, I got to start getting into the filmmakers. Facts. Right? Cause that's where my inspirations usually come from. Like when I see something visually in a movie, yeah, I can automatically think of like lyrics and bars to say for like whatever I'm feeling that movie is. So, wow, that's, that's how that's, that's where super I really, lit. Yeah, like movies is. I watch a movie every night just to get like extra inspirations. And wow, stuff like that. what's like your top three favorite movies or most inspirational movies? Uh, black movies. I would definitely say Friday. That's a uh, classic. <laughs> What's the what's the one with Ice Cube and uh, Kevin Hart? Uh, some know, some it's run. It's old one, right? Yeah. It's like before Kevin Hart was like big, or kind of. He was like in the. I think it's twenty seventeen. Twenty seven. Okay, I don't think I seen. I don't that know, one. but okay. I just watch a lot of movies like Facts, Fast and Furious. Die yeah, Hard. bro, they still pumping them out, mm -hmm. just milking that for every dollar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, last year you know we made a billion dollar profit. So let's do it again. Mm -hmm. um, don't worry about having a story or don't worry about emotional connections or any character development. <laughs> just, just, you know. That's really how it was. Let's just like uh, put cars in it, but then like, let's not actually drive the cars. Let's just fight. <laughs> <laughs> but let's call it Fast and Furious. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. I love how, um, I love how like COVID is like changing a lot of things. How, how has COVID affected like your whole school and like, you know, because I, I graduated from college, too, so I, luckily I didn't have to deal with that. So I'm just baffled in how, like, your generation is kind of dealing with COVID and also pursuing music. How is yeah, that all? Um, really, like, it's all about just time management. So, Facts, like, bars. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, online schooling is way easier, obviously. Facts. Because, like, I just get the work done. I usually do my work as soon as she assigns it. But that's what's up. That's yeah. up. But like, Stay on your P's and Q's. Exactly. You know school is really important. Exactly. I know a lot of rappers be dissing school, but school is really important. <laughs> they be the first ones to be like, shout out to my teacher so-and-so yeah. who said I was going to be shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, stay in school unless you like sure that you lit. Unless I'm like up through the roof. Exactly. Like, I know I'm good without school. Exactly. That's the only time I'm quit. Sorry, mom. If, if it happened, it happened. You know, but. If, if you're watching, yeah. he lets you know. You know what I'm saying? He'll, say if he lets you know. He appreciates the young thug shit. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? He got to do what he got to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. awesome, man. Um, But yeah, bro, we've just been talking. And I'm sure you're wondering what the fuck this is. <laughs> uh, I know it's true, but. Like, we just been like, we just been. We <laughs> I was to looking exist. at it too, yeah. Yeah, I see you like, eyes going up and down. Yeah. You know but yeah, we got the kombucha. You know, this is the part where we, um, kombucha sponsor me. First of all, yeah, hey, I'm working on my panda sponsor too because I be getting panda like basically every day. Okay, so, panda, if you're watching this too, I need my, you know, my sponsor. Exactly. This, this, uh, this, this promo ain't free. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like this ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like no, it's not. This not. You're that. not up there yet. But um, yeah, we got we got kombucha in this mug. We got your uh your infamous mojito lime, mint coconut. Okay. Have you messed with kombucha before? Mm. I first never time? even heard of it, yeah. You trying to see what's up? Okay, yeah. Bet, bet. All right. Hey, let's bust the bottle first. All right. You, you know how to bless the bottle? Nah. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm young, you know. Wait, what year are you in college? I'm a freshman. Oh, you're going to learn. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's just, you just you just put your hand on top of it. That's sure. Just, all right, bless. Cheers. Okay. Now, that was, that was, Drink that was lousy. Okay, okay, okay. 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 There okay. we go. For sure, for sure. But yeah, this is my boy's first time trying kombucha, you know what I'm saying? One thing I like to do is... uh. Make people try new things if they want to. You feel me? It's all about giving value, giving people new experiences. So let's see what he thinks. Fatality. I ain't gonna know this got a, a, I like that. Waterfall this shit. It got a nice kick to it. Yeah, that's an excellent way to describe it. What, what do you think though? 
like flavor wise, I didn't know what I was getting into. So, like, Facts. It was good. I don't know what flavors I just tasted, but yeah, it worked. Type shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's um. If you have you had apple cider vinegar before? No, or like it's kind of it's almost like alcohol. Did you get that vibe? Yeah. But like, less of the bitter. Yeah. Of alcohol, more that's, like sweeter. But it, that kind of kick, that kick part that alcohol kind of gives you. That's why I mess with it. I, I've been on my sober shit. You feel me? Don't tip me. <laughs> I know you heathens out there are trying to, you know, what I'm saying tip me. Cause guess what? I will fold. <laughs> so stop. Just be gone. You know what I'm saying? Like where it be the people you trust. It be the people you love the most. Be like this little this little sip of not gonna do you no harm. <laughs> just like, just do, just, just do a little bit of Molly water. You never hurt anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of heroin. No, no. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. But like, I'm saying like, it'd be the people you trust. But uh, yeah, we got the um, we got the cantaloupe, we got the carrots, we got the asparagus. You feel me? Like, hey, knock yourself Good. out. Have you tried raw asparagus before? Hey, mess with it. It go hard. Just do it. We out here, um, you know what I'm saying? Eating vegan. We out here on our basic, basic gang. Stay basic. This is what we mean when, when I say stay basic. This is a good, healthy combo, I feel like. Exactly. That's going to clean you out. Um, little fun fact about asparagus, though. It does make your pee smell weird. But in a good way. It's like that. detoxing you. Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll smell it. You'll be like, what the hell does that smell? Bro, crazy story, right? When I first started this shit, I didn't know. Because like, I had just eaten hellish vegetables. So I was like, which one of these vegetables? It was like a mission. Cause I knew one of them was making my pee smell like that. So I was like, okay, okay, let turnips or radishes. So I Google, do radishes make your shit? And it's like, nah. So I was going down the list. I was like, which one of these is it? Then one of my friends downstairs, she told me, oh, asparagus will make your shit smell like that. And I was like, oh, it's the asparagus. But yeah, um, it's not like a terrible smell, but it's like, it's noticeable. And then you might think something wrong with you, but it's actually cleansing you. All right, this don't taste bad, but mm. it tastes like it could smell bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why. That's probably why the pee be smelling. And but it tastes? It tastes like how I smell. Mm, like okay, the smell yeah. version of this? It, exactly. If it's, you know what I mean? Exactly. All it's right. just like that. It's still, okay, it's still smacking. But. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real. But my taste buds have adapted. It tastes I mean, a little bit less it. like ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it never tastes good. I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of vegan to be like, oh, it's delicious. It tastes like fries. No, I'm gonna be real. It it don't taste the best, but it feels good. Like it feels good because after you eat, you be like hella energy. You be lit. It's almost like coffee. Like when I eat like regular breakfast, like grits and stuff, okay, cheese or like eggs and stuff. Or oh, eggs isn't too bad, but like when I eat like cereal and shit afterwards, like either I feel nothing or I feel like full and like tired, kind of just like want to slump. And you, next thing you know, that your whole day went by, you ain't do shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I eat this stuff, I'm up. I'm up for the day. I'm trying to be lit. I'm active. Because it cleanses your body. It basically has the enzymes and everything your body needs to break down all the stuff that you need so that your body is using less energy to break that shit down so that you have more energy. It goes both ways, you feel me? Second law of thermodynamics. Um, I don't know how I forgot, but it was my birthday. <laughs> By the way, it's my birthday. Um, Yeah. If you want to know my age... Guess what? I don't like to say ages because people judge people based on their ages. Like Chief Keef, 300. Exactly. Famous, Simple. quoting famous Chief Keef. I think X said that too. You know, wise, bless, bless his soul. But um, on that energy, I will not say my age, but it is my birthday, my uh, anniversary on this planet Earth. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful. I am blessed. But um, yeah, we are going to do some fun stuff. We're going to chop it up with a freestyle. We're yes, going to see what's up. Uh, we just finna chill. What, what vibe are we feeling? Are we feeling Kanye vibes? Kanye vibes? Yeah. Let's mess with it. We were just talking about that, so let's mess with it. All right, let me throw on a, a dope instrumental. What's up? Bro, Kanye is my... He's literally my favorite artist of all time. Mm. So we're going to have fun. Right. What's the classic Kanye? Uh, ooh, Good Morning. You know Good Morning? Good Morning. Ooh. Bro, that's all right, that. shit. All right, let's do that instrumental. Instrumental. Bam. <clears throat> I hate ads. I be getting like two of these every day. Moving to the planet 
I, but I'm still, I will never pay for you to spread. Never. So it's, 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 I will deal with these ads for the rest of my life. Because <laughs> I will not pay. Hey. Hey. This sounds a little different, but. Oh. Uh, check yeah. it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good uh-huh. morning. Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. Uh-huh. Never got uh-huh. no sleep because I'm always uh-huh. yawning. Always on hey. the beat, stumping hey. shit like hey. honest. Hey. I don't care hey. about bitches. I'm in Phoenix. Hey. Chilling with the baddest bitches in arenas. Hey. Uh-huh. In arenas. Uh-huh. I don't give a fuck about the subpoenas. Chillin' in the room, sippin' on some food. <laughs> sippin' uh, on it, eatin' it too. Uh, what? Uh, and your bitch uh, can get the boot. Uh, 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 Come yes up in can. the bank and steal the loot. Yes, you can. Uh, 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 hey. uh, and I ain't uh, talking about the grape. Uh, your bitch want the fruit. But they want the fruit. <laughs> and we get in loot. Uh, and these niggas hella scared. Yeah, they hella scoop. Uh, uh, and I'm digging out your girl, taking hella scoops. Uh, uh, just that broke up, eating ice cream, hella scoops. Uh, uh, and I'm uh, pulling in a Lambo. And your girl getting scooped. Uh, and I'm like Pooty and Ray Ray. Cause I uh, stay with the loot, looting shit like Joker. And, and I'm with the shit. Hey. Uh, yeah, and I'm in that kitty cat like a bitch. What? And yeah, and I'm not fucking with what you not with. Uh, uh, yeah, cause I'm with the gang and the clique. And if you fuck with us, and we gon' we get lit, we gon' turn up in this shit, we gon' make shit get wild, and yeah, uh, don't fuck with me like Oscar Wilde, and yeah, when I take this shit, I'm gonna plow, and uh, take, nah, uh, look, uh, uh. Stay in the school, uh, don't fuck with the bricks, nigga, I'm cool. Ay, Chillin' in the motherfuckin' uh, stew, what it do? Ay, with your bitch, and I'm tryna make fuckin' moves. Ay, make fuckin' moves uh, like go to uh, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> Chillin' with uh, your bitch, uh, and she in my valley. Uh, <laughs> she in the ay, valley, kicking it in the ay, hills. Ay, she don't fuck uh, with me, cause I don't, yeah, nah. Ay, I don't pop them ay, pills. Ay, I just be in my room, sad ay, as fuck, but I'm chill. Ay, and I'm ay, ill. Uh, uh, I ain't uh, never been sick, uh, never had COVID. I get hey, chills. Hey, uh, he ain't never had COVID, that's lit. Uh, yeah, and I'm packing shit, and we hella lit. Uh, and, and I'm saying bars, you can call it hella spit. And, and, and your girl turned up cause I'm hitting her uh, clip. And yeah, cause I'm with the clip, and we deep, and, and we 50 deep. And y'all follow like sheep, and, and y'all haters got my shit. On repeat, uh, and, and I'm running shit like some motherfucking cleats, and, and yeah, uh, shooting shit all up in your spleen, and yeah, uh, locking shit, I am the key, and uh, I'm amazing, stay in disbelief, uh, stare in disbelief, cause I am undefeated, uh, uh, uh stare in disbelief, uh, looking at my dead haters, damn they in defeat, uh, uh, and I'm never feeling uh, grief, uh, 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 Got the white cleanest fucking teeth. Ooh, Might ooh, just spit up on your ooh. bitch up in the sheets. What? Might get what? up in that pussy. What? That's like a uh, What? What? Uh, uh, Stepping on your bitch cause she a track fucking freak. <laughs> hey, 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 bro, you said I got the whitest teeth, bro. You killed that. Hey. Kanye West, bro, like, I fuck with bro, like, bro, Kanye. That did just give me hype. I'm losing now. Okay. Show. You see, we lit. Thanks. I'm, we gonna start doing that off, straight off the rip. That. Quoting the baby, like, the first thing, Treehouse Gang, all right, we freestyle it. Like, sure. Because, like, we artists. Why the fuck not? You feel me? That's another reason why I wanted to do this podcast is because, like, a lot of these people who do the podcast, they don't be artists. Mm-hmm. They be just like regular radio show people. Yeah. But you feel me? Like as an artist, I can relate so much to other artists, and I feel like that's like a resource that we don't have. So I feel like we are gonna have a litest podcast, and we just gonna be vibing. Exactly. You feel me? Just off topic. Like how we is now. No cap. Uh. Hmm. Okay, Kanye. Let's um. Maybe some like more modern shit, like some some Playboy Cardi shit. That. Let's see what's up. Uh, let's see. Um. I know a lot of red too. I do. I don't know why people hating on it. It got some hard. What's that they song? Why or Sky? Yeah, I mess with Sky. I mess with Bino too. Yeah, it's true. People was hating on that mug. It was. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, you know, what I'm saying die lit. Yeah. But it was. You know, what I'm saying it was decent. People just like hating on new stuff, bro. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Get that. Uh, 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 yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Oh man, goddamn. You did. Uh, yeah, 
screaming how we coming, goddamn. Yeah. Uh, your bitch in my deal, she's spam. Uh, I'm eating her fish, it's like spam. What? Like, uh, that's not how I roll. What? Yeah, I'm a, on the road, uh -huh. cause we got studying my books like a goal. And I'm kicking that goal like a soccer. Uh, yeah, shit, walk a fucker. I'm swinging my shit, could call me walk fucker. And my glasses just went on the floor. Uh, that shit <laughs> is a sore. Uh, yeah, you old like dinosaur. Uh, yeah, I'll punch you to the core. Uh, I'm hot like the earth's core. Uh, yeah, you cannot score. Uh, to your bitch, all I do is score. Uh, and you is broke, you is poor. Uh, I am a deep in the lore, and I know shit like I am a lord. Uh, yeah, closing that shit, closing that shit like a store. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Spending my money, got money galore. Eee, eee, eee. Call me a bitch and I'm fucking for sure. Eee, eee, eee. Diving that bitch and she wetter than shorts. She what? Uh, she what? Uh, she what? I tell that bitch I go do a little chores. Uh, 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 told her to give, uh, her, give me a little more. Give me a little more. Uh, give me a little more. Uh, hey. uh, give me a little more. Uh, Just like uh, my swagger. Uh, Never run uh, out of clothes. Uh, 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 always keep an extra bagger. Uh, uh, and I'm with the fucking Jag and shit. But I'm never with the Jaggers. Cause I stay in an Audi. Uh, and I always go faster. Uh, 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 and I am the flow master. Uh, 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 <laughs> with the, the batter. Uh, hey, this uh, is some cake. Nigga, uh, your brains keeps batter. Uh, 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 you that kick with him, bake. Uh, Got some snakes, uh, yeah. Uh, got my shit, I'm dripping like lakes. What? Yeah. Uh, pockets fat, uh, pockets fat cake. Uh, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this drama is stakes. Uh, getting that shit and I'm raking, I'm raking dreams. It's like a rake. Uh, throwing up rakes, that's not me. Don't gang bang, don't come at me. Uh, yeah, uh, university. That shit was a bop. Uh, Black TV, uh, that shit is a cop. Uh, yeah, Nicki Minaj saying shit, throwing her wop. Uh, what? What? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, don't not fuck with that. That is a, that mm. is a flop. Uh, yeah, you was a flop. Uh, these niggas is, these niggas is lame. They is some bops. They is some bops. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Red and blue on us, but we might not fuck with the cops. Hey, red in my hair. Hey. Fuck with the tips. Mm, mm, I'm an mm, actor mm, mm. and I'm getting a sip. Okay, uh, okay. Might just take a okay. sip of that nice. Water hey, and that bitch hey, like a long neck draft daughter. Hey, hey, I might fucking get in her brains and slaughter her. Ooh, uh, ooh, I might just ooh, give her a son ooh. and daughter her. Uh, I might father her. I'm a shot caller. Uh. Hey, hey. Shakala, 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 shakala. She give me my dollar. Uh, I'm throwing dollars at strip clubs. Wait. Uh, I'm at the pub. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, I lay on my back and your bitch she just rub. Uh, yeah, shout out uh, to the my toe. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, we was killing that shit. We was killing that shit. Let's do one more. What kind of beat should we should we mess with? I'm not with anything. Type shit. That's the wave. That shit got us. <laughs> You feel me? Like we're not, we're not zone now. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like maybe some Uzi shit. Let's see, let's see some Uzi shit. Yeah, like so. That's some faster. That's a good one. You, mm, you gotta move. Okay, yeah. What's this song called? You better move. Facts. Dog. Wait, wait, wait. No, you looking at some? You, you looking for something else? Or like, I'm, t I'm thinking some like, maybe some slower shit. Okay. Cause we just did some fast shit. Maybe like t 20 minutes. I said, no, why did you call me? Oh, okay, I, man. Yeah, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Bro, the hardest part of freestyle is finding what you... Because it'd be too many. It'd be too many songs to think of. Like, that should be... All right, we go. We're going to do some. We're going to switch it out. Uh, I ain't heard this even then. Classic. 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 Oh. Uh. Chilling in my room. Oh. Uh. I don't fuck with the class. Uh -huh. I don't fuck with online. Uh -huh. Cause nigga, I be having a blast. Uh, having Do what? my homework. Uh -huh. Chilling in my room. Don't give a fuck about don't the give math. A fuck. <laughs> Always got film, music, and shit black. Hey. Uh, hey. I fuck that up, but we gon' keep you on what? going. I don't give a fuck about your vision. Tell you she's showing. Tell you she's showing. She uh, 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 she, uh, uh, she got some long hair. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. I uh, might just pull that shit out. I really uh, don't care. Pull that shit out. Okay. Uh, uh, Y'all feel for clout. Uh, yeah. Spitting like Stroud. Uh, yeah. I got the clout. And yeah, I'm packing that snout. Uh, she digging her shit in my snout. Uh, yeah. We know how we coming. Uh, yeah. You know how we bumming. Uh, yeah. I'm drunk and got rum in. Uh, hey, hey, yeah, hey, I might put my tongue in. Hey, uh, hey, I might put my tongue in. Hey, hey. Hey. That, that was, was it? too short.
Is it assumptions? You making assumptions? Let's get it crunkin'. Turn up the function. Turn it up. Get the drinks going. Get that shit rolled up. Let's get this shit and po oh oh. Hey, po up. Uh, uh, I come up, uh, I'm lighting the stove up. Uh, I said uh, it for sure, I'ma show up. Uh, yes, baby, I call him, he show up. Uh, what's up? We take the shit and we gon' blow up. What's up? Uh, we take the shit, we gon' go smother. Keeping that shit like cheap in this bitch. What's and cheap in this, keep in this. I'ma go streets in this bitch. I'ma go sheep in this bitch. I'm fucking your bitch and my sheets in this bitch. What? I got the sheets in this bitch. Uh, uh, I got the sneeze in this bitch. Her uh, cheek, uh, COVID 19 in this bitch. Uh, uh, your bitch is 19 in this bitch. She tryna hang out with the seed in this bitch. Cause we got some motherfucking seeds in this bitch. Uh, I got Blonde hair. I swag. Uh, Y'all is lame. I'm so uh, weak in the bag. Uh, I stay in my bed like a tag. Uh, I'm staying fresh like I'm a tag. Uh, go to Macy's and I go to Mags. Nip and sit mouth. Cause I got clout. And I'm still. Uh, and I got clout. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dunkin' on mm-hmm. your bitch, Harry Giles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't want that bitch. We don't have no child. Don't want her. Uh, don't want her. Don't, don't want, want her. her. Don't, don't want, her. want her. I'm a gunner. She's a gunner. One, I'm a gunner. Two, and I'm a gunner. gunner. Call my gunner, we get it gunner. Mm. And she skid on my sheets. Uh, mm. She skid on repeat. Mm. She skid, she skid, mm. and come in again. Uh, and I just bum it again. Mm. I ain't no time mm. to plumb it again. I take it your treasure, I plumb it that shit. Uh, yeah, you bum it and shit. Uh, and I got stomach and shit. Like Everest, I'ma go stomach this bitch. And I'ma go take it and plumb it that shit. Uh, I'ma go plumb it your shit. That's very good. That's the spell plumb it that shit. Harry Potter, I'ma go bum it this shit. And cast the spell like I'm gonna plumb it this shit. Gotta summon your bitch. She gon' come to me and throw on this shit. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Shout out MJ. We uh, still ballin', ho. We still ballin'. And we love Brown, LA. We ain't stallin', ho. Not stallin'. Getting to the money rate, right? right. Uh. Okay. Fucking on your bitch, giving a pipe. Okay. Put that on okay. that bitch and I'm okay. fucking that bitch like all damn night. Okay. We don't take breaks, but that bitch might get a sprite. Uh huh. Sprite give her energy, and we finish the night. Okay. Might finish just the night, and that sprite. Uh, uh, fly high like I'm a kite. Uh, fly high, you was a tight. You was like six. You was like three, but you was a tight. Uh, fucked up right there, but we gon' come back. You not over there. Uh, I am not single. I'm player. <laughs> no, 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 shit, not stop. Hey. hey. Oh, it's actually been that shit yeah, was doing that, that shit, shit like three times. Exactly, but like that was a good ass beat. But I was a that was the I was such a vibey beat. Yeah. Cause we could do like some chill dun, shit, but we could dun. do some flowy exactly. like Playboy Cardi shit. That shit was busting. Okay, show me your stuff. Okay, say we got the some say we got the vibe. Some slight, you feel me? No, I'm messing with that. That asparagus really did give me energy though, for real. Appreciate it. You already know. Per usual, sipping kombucha as Me. usual. I feel de- clean. Detoxing yeah. as usual. You know what I'm saying? We got the steez from the from the mother yep. continent. You clean. know what I'm saying? We clean. We got the aquamarine. We got the lapis lazuli. Okay, blue my we favorite got color. On my neck. You know, you okay. gotta ground the sacral chakras. You know, per usual. You know, type shit. We out here eating raw green beans. You know what I'm saying? Mama said eat your vegetables. Okay. 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 Doing okay. it. Okay. <laughs> no more, none less. Okay, you the first person. I'm grabbing all of them, low key. I mess, I mess with Savy heavy, bro. Savy is the first person to grab two, a, a second. That's the third asparagus. I had one during a break. He treehouse game. He treehouse game. Yes, sir. He treehouse game. That's that's treehouse that game. That connection there. That's connection. That's that's treehouse game. You feel me? Hey, we gonna do it. We gonna set this up. We gonna plan it out. We gonna do challenges. All right, I want to see y'all eating y'all raw vegetables and send me them videos and the person. Who eat the most, the most vegetables, or eat the vegetables in the most lit way? I ain't talking about swallowing a cucumber. I ain't with that. This is a family show, so don't, don't do too much. All right, you Jezebels, <laughs> you sinners. But send me the videos and let's see what's up. The person who has the most lit, basic video about them eating treehouse gang shit gets a hundred dollars. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. I said it. So send that shit. Send that shit. But um. We back from the break. We just listened to Cold Boy Vengeance by yours truly. Yes, sir. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. But um, yeah, we gonna talk about we gonna talk about what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Because we are a part of a community. Right. We are part of um, you know, the artist community. Culture. The culture. You know what I'm saying? So there's things happening in the culture that 
it would be interesting to see our opinions about it, right? So uh, I know we're a little late to it talking about this. Mess with this cantaloupe, bro. I was just great at fiber. It. Oh yeah, you just gotta pull that shit. Okay, that was an easy one. Yeah. But yeah, cantaloupe, man. Oh crap, great fiber. I got it. Uh, it has beta keratin, so that make your nails grow and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be out here on some Wolverine shit. <laughs> but um, the Grammy. When was that? Like two weeks ago? I think so. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, I actually watched bits and highlights. It was decent. All I saw was Billy Eilish. You watched the whole thing? I oh. just saw her post about it. Okay. You know everybody see what she posts. No. Yeah. She got like a like what? She broke a record this past week. Instagram likes, I think. Or are you serious? She went back blonde because you know blonde the wave now, and. It got like six million and something. That's I, the I most likes the numbers, from any poll. Like, no, it was like here, I gotta pull it up. Fact, no, you good. We eat shrooms. We got mushrooms in this bitch too. Will they get you lit? I don't know. In case the fans are watching, I don't know. <laughs> oh wait, mm. it was twenty million in six minutes. What? Yeah. Likes. Yeah. In six minutes. This is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean by like, bro, we got apples and pears, bro. This is the cornucopia. I know you've seen Hunger Games. Go crazy. Yeah, I read the books too. Gang, gang. My favorite book was, um, what was it? The first one, Catching Fire. Mm -hmm. Mockingjay. Mockingjay. Mockingjay was my favorite. The uh, Catching Fire, the movie was my favorite movie. But the books, Mockingjay, they didn't do, I didn't like the whole part one, part two. <laughs> They're doing too much. But, um, what are you yeah. talking about? The Grammys. Yeah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I'm an idiot. But, um, nah, black people were showing up. We did good. We yeah. was, um, we was owning that shit. We, we standing for it. We standing. Beyonce got like, uh. Yeah, well, ooh, if that was in February, that would have been perfect. Perfect, like yeah, exactly. It would have been a good ending, because like, we took some L's. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That would have been like a perfect tie-up. Honestly, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't buy into all the hype of the Grammys anyway. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. But it is still good to see people, you know what I'm saying, my skin color, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, being ambitious and like achieving things that like, you know what I'm saying, our, I was going to say ancestors, fuck that. Our <laughs> grandparents, even our parents. It, People be thinking like shit was long ago. It wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. Like, um, was it civil rights? That was just like the late sixties. That's like not even fifty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people are it's quick to going. forget. Think so. Oh, you know, we're all equal now. Obviously, twenty twenty showed us that with the whole you know, um, Eric, uh, Eric Chauvin killing Eric uh, Garner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Breonna Taylor stuff. That was all recent. Of those, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that that just shed light on what's always been happening. But one thing, this is the good side. Of, the good side of social media is that it's drawing attention mm -hmm. to what's really happening. Whereas before, we had to rely on the news, we had to rely on CNN, we had That's to rely nice. on uh, NBC, and the worst of all, the worst of all, we had to rely on um, what's that? Fox. 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 Is the worst news channel. <laughs> but the good part of social media now, we can rely on like actual capture footage, so the people are seeing what's happening, and then. The people are the judges now, right? Mm -hmm. For better or for worse. But at least we're seeing, okay, these are the people who are really fucked up. Yeah. And then these are the people who are rocking with it. And that's get, that's making people kind of have more community. And I, I think that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But um, speaking of the actual accomplishment, I think Beyonce got like 28 Grammys. She got like a 28th Grammy or something. She just got... Okay, not to tell him or snitch, but mm. like, she just got robbed. Like, no! Yeah, like some... I think it was like... On TMZ about her. Well, Beyonce, how she? Like a mil like millions in purses and like all type of Wait, stuff. Wait, they they ran up to her crib. It can happen to the biggest people. And you know she thunking, like you know she got security, yeah. everything. So I, that's like some like heist, some Italian job shit, cause like that. There's no way they just you don't just run up on Beyonce's crib, like. Yeah. So he they it must have been maybe an inside some job plan, or. Like, Real plan. Did you like read the details? Like I didn't read the de. Well, yeah, I read like about what got stolen, yeah. but they didn't really say too much because I saw it on Snapchat. That's where I did it. Really. 
That's crazy. But yeah, my wishes go out to her, man. Yeah. She don't deserve that, man. Yeah. Beyonce has done Vegas, nothing. Exactly. But like, show good vibes for the culture. I love her new wave, like Black Parade. You know what I'm saying? She conscious as fuck now. You know what I'm saying? She speaks she the people's voice. So nah, man. Cut that shit I out. Cut that hater shit out. Like when I was younger, my mom, that was like her You got sisters? Yep. My sister too. Exactly. I'm I already know lie. it. Bro, that shit. All, this and you let it. All of that. When I was younger. I ain't gonna lie. If I were a boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That okay. shit was hitting. That shit was hitting. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Get a grasp of your masculinity. Stop being fragile. True. Yeah, exactly. Or like, oh, just because just she's a girl, you're not finna rock with it. If that shit slap, that shit slap. Hey, you I listened to her whole, like, she had a collab album with Jay-Z. Mm. I listened to that whole thing. Hell I listened yeah. to Halo, like, a few days ago. That's mine. That I was my yeah, hey, hello, yeah, hey, hello. I ain't gonna be like, I'd be like driving to like functions and stuff. I'd be bumping them. I got my <laughs> squad. We'd be bumping Beyonce. I'd be like, hell yeah. Like, yeah, like chill vibes. Chill vibes. Talent is talent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers gotta step out of trying to fit a certain image and try, try to be fake hard. Yeah. That's one thing I noticed, bro. As black people, we gotta do better. We gotta, um, we gotta stop trying to portray a certain image or like trying to be hard or like trying to be gangster or something like that. If you actually gangster, you actually hard, all right, that's just you. You know what I'm saying? Do you, but like, I seen a lot of people, they they weren't, they not about that. They did, they grew up in the suburbs or some shit. They didn't have to go through the struggle, but then they see everybody else is like being hard. So they just fake hard. You know what I'm saying? And you get to know them and it's like Pill boy, Pillsbury Doughboy. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're the softest person you know, which is fine. But like, just be you. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a show yesterday and then one of my speeches was just like, be you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Don't put on a persona. Don't try to be somebody else. Because guess what? You trying to be somebody else, that takes away from what from you are. Value. And then copying somebody is never going to have as much energy as the original. So guess what? That person you copying, it takes energy to copy somebody. So you put an energy into being him, and it's so it's never going to be as good as that person you copy. That person who copied it is just going to get all the clout. So like say if you're trying to copy little Baby, right? Little Baby is just going to get the most clout out of that. Because first of all, you just hype it in the... You'll never be as good as that person. That's kind of like what Mario Judah did in a way, but he took his own route. I like his style, like the way he uses his voice. I'm glad you mentioned Mario Judah too. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the way he did it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people were saying he was just cloud chasing, but like. I don't look at it that way. I mean, obviously, oh, you know why I don't look at it as cloud chasing? Because he was already big, A, before that. With uh, Die Lit, Die Very Rough. I'm yeah. a big dog, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was he was already bumping before even without the um, Playboy Cardi he was already like that was his song mm -hmm. so he didn't need to he didn't need to do that he was already lit he stepped out of his lane to, you to know. exactly so I I don't I don't buy the clout chasing because he was already clout he already had fame from that song so it's just people hate it man that's all it is bro honestly I congratulate him because that was balls to do that facts cause like who the fuck does that who who drops another nigga song before that nigga drop his song and yeah. then make that nigga drop his song <laughs> and that nigga didn't want to drop his song exactly <laughs> you know what I'm saying nope. nobody will go that far that's never happened in history you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that's never happened and it, Playboy deserved it because I feel like as an artist you have a responsibility to your fans you do, yeah. You have a responsibility. These are the people, right? These are the kids or whatever. A lot of times be kids who like really mess with you. You know what I'm saying? They buy your merch, all your weird merch. Play with parties, weird like skeletons satanic. and stuff. Satanic. Guess what? Satanic shit. I know you get millions from that. These are the kids buying that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they mess with you. And when you playing with them, he be playing playing games. He was playing games. Talking about it's dropping tomorrow, not dropping. It's dropping. Yeah. Hey, just be real. Mm -hmm. Just be like my record or my label company, not letting me drop it. That's respect. When you real. And keep it 100 with your fans, bro. They mess with you. So honestly, he does. If had Mario Judah did that to like a J Cole or a Kendrick, I wouldn't have messed with that because Kendrick and J Cole are like respectable. They treat their fans good. You feel me? They be happy. They be for. Like, I don't good know. Calls. Okay, Kendrick. He been he been slacking. I don't know where he been, but I, I still respect him as an artist. Yeah. Kendrick is his case is different, only because his content in the past has always been respectable. So That's right. he Damn. has the privilege to just disappear for a while. He can do that. But Playboy That's Cardi, he can't do that because he'd be on social media doing shit. It, he's not too much into the antics as like the other rappers, but he still be into slight antics. 
especially with his, what is his wife, Iggy, whatever, they be going through some, some BS. Yeah. So like he's on the news enough that he needs to be talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so much has happened. The yeah. Grammys. Mm. Uh, what else happened? Um. Her kid, Blue Ivy. Oh. That's Blue crazy Ivy, yeah. to me. She yeah. got a Grammy. I don't even know how that works. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, apparently, um, I think what happens is, um, as an artist. Like, so have you submitted to DistroKid before? Yeah, that's that. So you know the process happens. when you put like songwriter and they get like a credit? Mm -hmm. So apparently what um, Beyonce did, she put Blue, Blue Ivy as a writer, even though she no, it wasn't a writer. She just put her there. That's so cool. then when she won Best Artist, that way, the way it works is everybody who's like Best Writer, if that award and you're written as a writer, you get that at Grammy too. That's some, that's that's some ball shit by that's smart. Beyonce. Like, to have that big of a platform and just... Just give people a grammy. That's really rewarding your kids. Exactly. Yeah. Blue Ivy's probably not going to respect that. She's going to grow up probably like this with no Grammys. Because like, oh, I've had a Grammy for no, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's the image. It's a good look. Yeah. It shows how Beyonce is like thinking in the future. You know what I'm past saying? Past the future. Exactly. Yeah. She's thinking past. She's thinking about legacy. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Um, what else? We were showing out uh, Cardi B's walk performance. It was busting. Um, Little Babies. Uh, what was it called? What's the song called? The better, uh, a better, oh, the, uh, bigger picture. Bigger picture. Yeah, uh, that performance was very impactful and, mm -hmm. and powerful. I'm, I'm glad that he chose that song. I'm very proud. That's very true. Props. Represent congratulations lots. for little baby for like representing. You feel me for mm -hmm. the culture? That was good because he could have did. He has like a huge, you any know, what I'm saying, song. discography. Yeah. He did any more, even a more lit song, but mm -hmm. he chose. You know, what I'm saying the better, bigger picture. I, I mess with that. I rock yeah. with that wave. Um, but yeah, overall. I think the Grammys was like, um, it was a good look, you know what I'm saying? Black people went all out, and I want to keep that energy. I want to see more representation. I want to see more diversity in that mug. Right. And um, yeah, I think that was lit. That was. Fact. You've been just streaming. It's on um, Spotify. He's on all platforms. Every, like Twitch, Deezer, it, like iHeartRadio, everything. Exactly. You want to talk about Cold Boy Vengeance real quick? Yeah, like, yeah. That rhythm, what inspired your harmony? Because it's very different, very, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's, let's hear it. Yeah, so like basically I just took the emotions I had during the times I made mm. the song. So like That's each brilliant. each song was based off heartbreak. So I wanted mm. to bring all heartbreak elements to rock, if you know what I mean. Mm. So I really just tried to use some of my vocals to take some of my inspirations because I've been listening to a lot of rock. Right. Like all the old bands, Fleetwood Mac, all of those. Okay. And really I just went with what I had and then just took the melody and then tried to elevate it. So that was crazy. Yeah. So Luan, right? Shout out Luan. You're Best a real producer in the shower. Best producer, my boy. If you need videography, hit him up. He got all the Steven Spielberg shots for you. Yes, sir. He he filmed my my lit song Innocent. Tap tap my boy in. But um, he gave us some bars, right? He gave us bars. He told me that you just freestyle your melodies. Is this yeah. true? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Basically, like okay. Five or six of the songs was mm -hmm. freestyles. Okay. And then I just took the freestyles and then just took them to the stew. Mm. And then found the extra melodies I needed to make it rock inspired. So like on the Evil Conscious song, where it was in the second verse, I okay. did that. Uh, mm. I kind of took that and then just raised the element all around the album. Based mm. on that. That's clever. Yeah. And then whatever other like melody you heard, like mm. the, the harmonizing, that was basically just how I felt, like the pain I felt through love and then just- That's lit. The song. Okay. We don't want to bring up like old stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But like what relationship like impacted you the most? Like, you know what? I'm gonna make a song out of this. Like how, it was, how did it- how Okay, did it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a relationship technically. <laughs> okay. But it was, we had a thing mm. and then I found out some shit about her, mm. and then you know you know how that goes. Oh. She tried to you know cut me off and blame me for it. Wow. When I barely knew her, so I just pushed back. I didn't even talk to her. I think yeah. she blocked me. Hopefully. Back. And hopefully I blocked her back. <laughs> I usually just unfriend people, but yeah. hopefully I blocked her. And then yeah, that's that's really what told me. Okay, I gotta make this out. Mm. I gotta prove 
okay, I'm not that type of dude. You feel me? Like, there's a lot of, like, I'm not to, you know, I'm not to the type to bash women. Right. But the songs portray me bashing them. But mm. not because I hate women. Yeah. But it's just my experience with love. And with exactly. Women. It's your story. Yeah. That's important. So, so many people wonder, like, why they lack passion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you can hear a song and you can tell that person is just doing it. Just going with the motions. You know? Yeah. And then I hear a song like Cold Boy Vengeance. And I'm like, dude, this dude feels something. I, I you don't just hop on the too many of the level. You don't just you don't just come up with that. You might come up with the lyrics, but the energy, the way you delivered it, it travels. Like vibrations is like not to get spiritual with you, but like sounds, vibrations, and like frequency and mm -hmm. like resonance. All of that. That matters. Like when you record that, those liter they literally form like a puzzle and then like the puzzle pieces and they basically like tap into the person. And like it makes you feel like real music, real art makes you feel something deeply. Exactly. Yeah. That's what makes you like if you ever make a playlist, do you ever like have songs that you okay, that's my favorite. And you have songs like I kinda like it. Okay, yeah. Right, that's how it is. So it's like that that's what separates, okay, this is catchy versus oh yeah, that's in my favorites. You feel me? Like a song you can just hear like the first part of the song. Do you ever like add a song to your favorite? You just heard the yeah. beginning. Cause exactly. just, all it takes like, is that one part made you feel something, and you like, that does it for me, you know? Mm -hmm. But um yeah, thank you for, you know what I'm saying, kind of going through Cowboy Vengeance. So we like to do a part where we talk about, like, um, maybe a, a dope new artist, you know, or, like, a, a dope new album that you listened to recently, just to kind of put the spotlight, because part of what we like to do in the Treehouse is introduce people to new music. Not the mainstream shit that they already know, yeah. but if you come to Treehouse, you come in, a, you know what I'm saying, tap into some stuff that you haven't heard about that All is right, dope, man. right? So any uh, artist or... Yeah, so... I actually just made a song with him, me and my mm. boy Ant. We got some, it's like, it's a banger. I know everybody's going to love it. I think it's I added him out. on Snap. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. This Shout Friday. out Ant. Shout out Ant, for real. He mm. got some crazy flows. Bro. Okay. Yeah, we, we got a song dropping this Friday. Okay. And then I'm working with Money Lunatics. It, mm. it was a group that I first started with. That's, that's when I got my flows together. Like, mm. I started figuring out. Do you think you found your sound yet? I think I did with the producer I'm with now. Yeah. Okay. Like, for sure. Because mm. the way he, uh, he kind of influenced my melodies just mm. a little bit. Yeah. Because, like, he had to tell me, okay, I think this would sound good here. I think this would sound good here. Mm. So he really just had me do, like, the melodies he felt would line up with the story. And then I just had to execute. Absolutely. But... Yeah, I, I like working with him too with songs. And yeah, yeah, I love working with him because mm -hmm. he's such a musically talented person. Shout out my boy Luan again. Like he, he does his homework, yeah. so he knows. You know what I'm saying? Like you can like fuck around all day and play with shit, mm -hmm. but when it comes to kind of like the theory of it, like he he really helps you in that part, yeah, and really. also the creativity part. You know what I'm saying? Like he's onto something. Yeah, he be. I on love it. it. Yeah, and then I'm really just. When I get big enough, mm. I really just want to work with anybody. Like, mm. mm -hmm. I'll work with Billie Eilish. I'll work with Hasley. I'll work with, mm. I'll work with anybody. Halsey, I mean. Honestly, not to go back to the Grammy, but I was like listening. I think I watched Billie Eilish's whatever. Mm -hmm. And she seemed like a cool ass person. Yeah. I think she got the Grammy and she like offered it to Cardi B. She was yeah. like, I don't deserve it. Like Cardi B deserved it. I don't know because I know celebrities. My bad. You good. You good. I just sprayed that job. <laughs> Atomic bomb, no. <laughs> but um, you know, like I don't know if it was a plot, a ploy, because I know celebrities be like, oh, let me act humble to get. But I, it felt genuine. Mm -hmm. I feel like she genuinely did want to give it to Cardi B. So yeah, big ups to Billie Eilish for being a real G, and yeah. she's so young too. A real G at such a young age. She's yeah, like what, eighteen? Yeah. She's still, she's young. She's man. still, yeah, she's still jail based. So yeah. stay the fuck away, you fucking yeah. weirdo. <laughs> she got a lot of following, but yeah. Exactly. Back off. <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm calling the police. No, yeah. I'm, I, I mean, I don't fuck with police, but in this case, I'm calling the police. Yeah, for sure. For I sure. was never 12. I went to 11 to 13. But in this case, you know what I'm saying? Call me a snitch, but I'm snitching. You don't mess with that shit. But I know a lot of people know who Claro is, too, but I want to work with her, too. I think she has I've never music. actually heard of Claro. Claro, you want me to play a song? Did, did you mess with the streaming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hop on that. String Green Wave. The unheated way. We make it where it's not riding yeah. them. It tastes kind of better. Mm. Unheated, because you can you can feel like 
You can taste the more texture. Of flavor, yeah. Exactly. And you can taste the texture. Honestly, I don't like. I'm not planning on having kids anytime soon. I know I'm getting old. Yeah, thank you. But I'm not because like I feel like parents like they eat your vegetables, but it'd be like cook cook vegetables. Bro, cooked vegetables to me are nastier than this raw vegetables. Cause it's like the boiling of it takes all the flavor out, like you said. Cause I remember eating like cooked broccoli and cooked green beans. It was like worse than this. You know what I'm saying? So like you said, this I feel like parents should start giving their kids still vegetables but raw vegetables and this i feel like kids would enjoy it's more fun like you can hold the carrot you can like eat the green beans like fries exactly, it's yeah. more like kids like to touch stuff they like to see stuff they like to hear stuff you know it's crunchy kids love crunchy shit you know what i'm saying yeah. captain crunch so true but yeah, where are you saying the female artist claro claro yeah she has a really unique style about it that uh mm. forever okay that's one of my favorite songs and then she has another song that's really big right now. Mm. But yeah, she's doing her thing. And she's still, people will say that she got it from her dad because he has his own record label. But okay. she really has her own talent. She really works. Mm. That's what's up. Yeah. Is she like kind of a new new wave or is she kind of old to the? Uh, she's been growing, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. Mm. Okay. She's big, but like, I don't think she's out there yet. Mm hmm. Facts. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess with that. I'm always looking for new artists, even like local artists. That's I why I think you'll like her too, cause like you you have the kind of not not the same vibe music, mm. but like the same like chill style of music. Mm. Okay. No, I'm I'm dead ass. I'm gonna write it down, cause I will forget. What was her name? Claro. C L A I R O. Mhm. Mm C L A I R O T. No, just just okay. Yeah. True. That's the French. <laughs> like, uh, so Declare, French is actually yeah. my first language. So in, in French, T is I'm silent. I'm actually part French too. Ah like, bon. I'm many percent French, but I, I haven't I haven't tapped into my French side yet. Tu n'as pas parlé avec le. Nah, not mm. that far, not that far, bro. <laughs> nah, you good, you good. <laughs> uh, I gotta get there, cause I wanna tap into all my cultures, you know. Exactly. I got a little native, native in me, Native American. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I like the French side too, but I just. One I'm messing with the day. hair. Like, what made you dye your hair? I'm still kind of scared to get on that yet, bro. Uh, really, I kind of just started being myself. Yeah. Mm. Well, we've been, we've been there, forgetting uh, the celery. So oh, disrespectful. True. But, like, I really just started being myself. Like, mm. stop caring what people think. Because I was, like, the loner kid in high school. Okay. But the I knew people looked at me like the loner kid. The loner kid. Like, okay, I feel but, that. Like, I knew people looked at me different, but... I really just adjusted to being who I am. Like, I really don't care about Big facts. Yeah. But that's bars. But I actually, I started with brown, then okay. went to light blonde. Oh, you've been doing this for a minute? Heavy. Yeah. Okay. And then purple, blue, red. Mm -hmm. and then I tried to go back blonde. I did this myself. Okay. But you can see it's still kind of pink. Yeah. That's because that's the purple. Back, so back. Right. And it's dope that your hair is not too long. Mm -hmm. Like if it ever, cause I, I know like one thing, if you dye your hair, it kind of damages a little bit. Yeah. Just but like your hair is so low, it's not that long. If your hair ever do get damaged, you could just cut your shit mm -hmm. and then grow back in a few months. You know what I'm saying? You good. So if I wear if I dye my shit, right. they got it now where you can like, um, I think like re reattach locks or something like that. I ain't trying to go through all that, man. You know? I've been trying to get locks. Oh, dead ass? But like, I don't think I want to make the commi commitment yet. Cause mm. like, what do you mean, like, oh, go, go like, to the stages? I like the curls, mm. but, like, I feel like it would look better locked up, but, like... You could I, definitely rock the locks. Yeah. Because, like, when I get up in the morning, my hair is, like, super matted. Facts. I just get water, shake it, and then... But, like, I hate doing that. I just like my hair to be naturally flowing down. Exactly. So I think dress would just go... Pretty you would like bad. to, like, kind of have it hanging a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Your hair, bro... You got like nappy hair like me, just like me. Mm -hmm. So, but basically your hair, like on the first few years, it's gonna be spiky. You gonna have the spiky, True. you know the spiky dreads? Mm -hmm. There's no way around that. You gonna have the spiky, so it's still gonna be up, but around like year four, or around like year three, you're gonna be like, remember Chief Keef? You're gonna be like on the Chief Keef when his, it was like right here. That's how you're gonna be. And then around like year four, so year five, I'm like year eight. So it's like, but around, it start hanging down around like year two, it'll start. Cause the weight of the braids will Have you seen? Have you seen Juice Wars dreads? His shit, wow. Different. 
It's like one type. That's raw to me. I love that. Juice one just really but out here didn't give a fuck. <laughs> no, like he didn't give a fuck. I know they started off thinner, but yeah. I think he twisted them all together. Like I can see how he did it, cause that's what I do in my hair. I twist it all. Like, and they became one chunk. But I loved it though. It was so unique. Like, and he had like a few like kind of hanging ones. Yeah, it was like a little like a teenager like hairstyle. Yeah, just a wild. Just yeah. You know what's crazy though? Mm -hmm. If he wasn't Juice World, I feel like people would roast him. You know that, that's that's why we gotta stop this. Cause it's like, why you gotta be a celebrity for it to be cool? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let him rock his hair how he want. Whether your hair is like little braids or like a chunk, let's remove that concept of associating, oh, it doesn't look organized, so it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause I notice as a society, we try to like, even like, I love how black hair is becoming more accepted in the workplace. But like up until recently, especially black women, they always had to like perm their hair or like wear their hair like, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep it small. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even one of my friends from Germany, like, she came to the, um, like, she always tried to, like, put her hair in braids. She never, like, let her hair, because she has, like, naturally, she's she's mixed. She's biracial. So she has, like, a natural, like, puffy hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Beyonce or whatever. Just, like, kind of like the Solange, big afro curly. Mm -hmm. But it's big, though. It's like a lion's mane. Yeah. But, like, she grew up around all these white people, so she always, like, would braid her hair to make it look small like them. But I, I, like, you know what I'm saying, when she came to the U.S., she kind of did research, you know what I'm saying, and then kind of, like, it was empowering, and now she just started wearing her hair naturally. And it's like, it's, this isn't to judge. People are like, wear your hair how you want to, exactly. but just know the reasons why. Mm -hmm. If you wear, wear your hair straight, wear your hair whatever, you're beautiful regardless, but don't wear your hair straight thinking that your hair, basically, in its natural state is goofy or is weird or is ugly or is dirty or not is nasty exactly it's not what you do it's the mentality behind it you know yeah. so that's sure. the, that's the kind of way where i want people to just start stop judging things on face value because everything is programming like we've been programmed from an early age whether we know it or not to look at things a certain way through tv through us seeing these commercials of all these people with straight hair and certain features and you subconsciously as a kid like from the ages of zero to seven to you automatically it's not even like People think it's like racism is like a person comes out and says, oh, black hair is bad. It's never explicit. They never like say it explicitly. But what does a kid do when on TV he sees a bunch of kids with straight hair? Even if it's not directly saying curly hair is bad, that's indirectly saying, oh, I want hair like that. Which indirectly says hair like this isn't good. Yeah. So it's, we got nice. to start with the kids. Um, honestly, that's where it starts. You just have to reprogram people to just accept themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, all races, we're all different, but we're all beautiful in our own different ways. And like society, you know, and I do like modeling and fashion too. That's what I'm trying to bring back. Like I'm just wearing, well, this yeah, is just I'm some just like Hawaii shirt shit, but. That's what I'm into too. Like, I like switching on my clothes. Like, I think I had like this, it kind of looked like some samurai. Like, mm. it had like slim uh, have kimono. Yeah, like a wraparound type. Okay. But like, I really just like being different. Like, that's really what I am about. Be true to yourself. Be different. Be authentic. Being the same is lame. That's why it rhymes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. But um, yeah, I guess the cool new artist. Oh, shout out Liko too. Mm. Uh, he got he got hella flows. He freestyles all of his flows too. So. Ooh, we gotta have him here. Yeah, I love sure, a sure. I love a freestyler like that. For sure. Liko, okay, shout out Liko. Um, who, who am I thinking of? So we said Nas's new album was fire. Yeah, King's Disease, check that out. A uh, crazy samples. He has some, them samples just hit your soul, you know. Um, I felt that. Nas's new um album. Who dropped a new album? Oh, I I peep I didn't peep the whole thing. But tap in the raw wave. Okay, I listened to a little bit of mm. his because he be on that sad wave too. And yeah. I learned that with music, with your personality, you kind of follow what the music is talking about. Mm. So, like, if I listen to sad music all the time, then that's not good for the soul. Like, right. I got my happy moments too. Like, I'm a bright kid. So, exactly. I really want to get bright music. Like, Claro is a good artist to listen mm. to. Bright. If you're trying to get on the bright wave, Tosh Sultana, have you heard of her? Get on that wave. Um, very heavy on the instrumentals. Mm -hmm. Not many vocals. It's almost like EDM. Okay. But it's chill. It's like guitar, natural. Guitar. That's instruments. All I to hear. 
guitar. Can you play guitar? I'm trying to learn, but yeah. Facts, facts. Hey, you trying to mess with it? Yeah. Hey, let's see what's up. <laughs> but yeah, we got the, um, we got the 21 Savage with a guitar. <laughs> I'll mess with you. <laughs> okay. You learn it from YouTube? Yeah. Facts. A little bit from YouTube. Bro, that's that's how I learned the whole shit. Straight I'm still from learning YouTube. how to hold this. I, I I usually hold like electric guitars. Facts. And their their shape is like different. They're like I, slimmer. I like the acoustics too. Yeah, the acoustic is just you can take it anywhere, in a park type shit. You know how to play a few chords? I know a little bit. Yeah, teach me something, cause <laughs> you know I'm still learning. Facts, facts. Um. Well, like for my son, first kiss, mm -hmm. I kind of learned how to play that on the guitar a little bit. We're going to do the first verse. That. Late bloom of you, baby, right out the front door. I shot my shot, said my name, Mama Doe. Said, where you coming go. from? She said, straight from the stove. Said, for sure, slay a high to the skin. And no sack, her eyes lit up. She thought be an acrobat. I play this smooth, we get six on the deck. Say she'll move shit around and make time just for that. We hit the ice and have the skates laced. Put my hand around her waist. We just couldn't keep space. What? In the moment, all else is erased. Queen Elsa, the way she let it go and let me chase. Hold her hands while we glide. Puppy love shit. She says she feeling it, but she really got a dip. I'm the Tarzan to her Jane, Katara to my avatar. She still call me Aang first. Kids, Mary, I could go down the list, but nothing quite like that bliss from your first kiss. Little bit, so That slight. was hard. Appreciate it, appreciate it. That was it. hard. I like the chords with, with acoustics because it just soothes my soul. Like, yeah, real, it's like, organic. You feel me? Like, one of my producer, he told me to start incorporating because like, he's like, bro, you play guitar. Like, incorporate that into yeah. your song. So I'm trying to, my biggest challenge is incorporating guitar into my raps. Because I feel like that'll set me apart more. That's why with this last song, with, for First Kiss, I had a choice to kind of choosing a piano version of the song or like a guitar. Mm -hmm. I told him, even though my producer, if, you, if you're if you listening, Jim, you fucking asshole, <laughs> you gave me hell and was like, don't you do your piano. But yeah, who ends up messing with the acoustic? Your friends, exactly. Yeah, so li <laughs> listen to me sometimes. Nah, I love him. Great, per you know what I'm saying. He's kind of hard, hard on me, but it's always to improve me. It's always productive. Mm -hmm. But I was just learning how, you know what I'm saying, incorporating instruments with the guitar that just ties hand in hand because it's all a feedback loop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So the, it's all about recognizing harmonies and melodies, and if you can like channel that into your rap. I feel like that's that's what takes you off, you know. Exactly. Finna lose sight. Hold my hand. Let's take one last trip. But this time we'll be light. But this time we'll be light. This time will be light.